But you had a white woman in Tennessee who sued the, the 8A program. The Washington Post has a story. And the judge ruled in her favor. And she, uh, now, mind you, this white woman started a business, got a, got a $20,000 loan from her daddy, eventually got a half a million dollars in loan from her daddy. This is a privileged white woman. She then got two federal contracts totaling $3.8 million through a women's program, but then mm -hmm. her trifling ass sued the 8A program by saying, oh, I couldn't apply because uh, I, I'm not uh, a disadvantaged uh, by race. And so now this has upended the 8A program. Now, let's keep in mind, the federal government spends $560 billion a year on contracts. Hmm. Black people have gotten 1.67% of the federal contracts, most through the 8A program, okay? But see, these white folks want to go after everything. And I kept warning people that this is what they're going to do. This is a moment where we must be in a fight mode. They, look, I, we talked about CRT, books. We talked about affirmative action in college. They want to go after anything that has actually helped black people, other minorities. And I said to the, to the, uh, the business council in Milwaukee, I said, now is the time to see whether real allies are going to step up. Let's now yeah. see if big business is going to say, hell no, we doing this because it's right. The, you got to bring the same level of energy to these assholes. And, I, and you got to get in their face. face. <laughs> you got to sit here and go at them. I, 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 ain't, I ain't conceding an inch to these devils. <laughs> Not an inch. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that, I mean, there's a lot to say about that. We're basically dealing with a bunch of people who are, their core strategy really is lying, because lying works. And lying particularly works when you have a press corps that wants to both sides everything and stick to objectivity and not state. And want to play that nice. Lying. Right. Yeah. It's, it's worse than not wanting to play nice. It is actually not wanting to report, quote, a both sides objective framework and not call a thing a thing and a lie a lie. We sat here with the first two years of Donald Trump, 2016, 2017, not, you know, going, being wrapped around the axle of not wanting to call him the liar that he was with regard to uh, President Obama's birth certificate. Uh, and, and they reported it as if it was just news because he was saying it. But right. when a political party is dedicated to lying and they convince a sizable amount of people that an election was stolen such that we're changing laws over it and getting people to believe that and lying is a strategy, you've got to be playing on a different strategic level when that starts to happen.